welcome back to the next episode of Herica Route, where we play through Erica Route with all the redhead colored characters. So today we have some characters, not you, 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 or you. We're going to be bringing Erica, Tana, Seth, Arthur, Mulder, Joshua, Colm, and we have Tellys now to use. Another red haired character we met last time. She had a goddess icon in her inventory which went straight to Arthur. Um, if you've been watching, you've seen he has been fi fighting some low percent criticals a lot, ones and twos, which I don't really like a lot. And we do have a guiding ring for him. No, Arthur. We're gonna pro him right away. And earlier on, I mentioned Bishop was the better one. It's gonna be very useful in this chapter. You'll see why in a moment. No luck, but that's okay. We did just give him the Guidus Icon, and we can now use staves. Really useful why I gave him a healing staff. Let me see if you can take... I think I gave it to... I think I gave it to Mulder. Yeah, the Torch Staff will be really helpful here. And he is not the only one we are going to promote. Joshua, we finally got a hero request with the help of Garrick. Um, I just go the typical sword master. I think this is what everyone likes to make Joshua into. Strength, defense, always nice. Okay, I'll just give you another healing item as well. Now to check the map. So as we can see another Fog of War map just like in Chapter 6 and this time we do have monsters again. Um, I did mention the Slayer skill that the Bishop gets upon promotion. That will be useful here. Let's have you move ahead. We can do the Colm trick again. That might actually be useful. Okay. Monsters all over map, we really can't check who's here, but we do have some green units here. First we have Dazla, a pre-promoted berserker, and Larachel, a healer. Now if you remember back to chapter 4, we did see these guys, they appeared on a cliff there. I kind of skipped over the dialogue. But here's Dazla, our pre-promoted berserker. He has 85% HP growth, 50 strength, 35 skill, 40 speed, 30 luck, 30 defense, and 25 resistance. Um, good filler unit pre promo if you aren't using one of your axe users. Um, I tend to use him a lot on E from Root. But here he's on the green team, he won't be used as will Rachel not be used as well. She is our troubadour, a mounted healer. She has 45% HP growth, 50 magic, 45 skill, 45 speed, 65 luck, 15 defense, and 50 resistance. Very lucky girl. Um, mounted healer. They were nerfed from the last game. I think they have one less movement. They had 7. Priscilla had 7. Chlorine had 7. But she only has 6. Um, she is only level 3, yeah, she's only level 3, so she just have to play catch up a bit um, compared to your other healers that you may have been using at this point. So let's save the game before we begin as usual. And we will begin the fight. Okay. Now then. Be nice to lure out this guy right away. I think, I, I think I'm gonna try to. Have our lightning tome. Oh, another thing I should do. I think we're gonna turn off Tay's animation here. Now Archer is a bit interesting because he's gonna serve as a healer and a fighter, so I think I'll just leave his um, animations on for now, and that is out of range. Let's get Seth over here, start clearing out all these guys. Yeah, and that's Teddy's map animation. Didn't show it off last time. Mulder, why don't you... Mm, let's try over here. You can kind of see a little bit already thanks to the green units. As far as green units go, Rachel and Dazla aren't really that bad. I have never really had too much experience with them running off and doing something stupid. And that is actually a good thing because I don't want any of them to attack Teddy's. Ok, 
okay. Yeah, but as far as green units go, those two aren't bad. They usually stay put. Dalsa does a good job killing anything that comes closer to La Rachel. I don't really see her heal too often. I don't think she does in Phantom Ship. This one, they're not in as much of a tight spot, thankfully. Erica's gonna come along. Tana, there are some reinforcements that trigger back here. I don't know if I should leave Tana to clean them up. Usually I do leave a couple units to do so, but we're just gonna all move forward here. That might be the best thing to do. Yeah, Seth doesn't care about the weapon triangle still. And we have two healers now. After having to bench Natasha once the challenge started, we were just, um, going along with Mulder. But having two staffies is always welcome on the team. So in light of things, I have been seeing what's been going on in the community as of recording this, um, because today is Wednesday when it all sort of came out. Um, of course, this video probably won't go up till Saturday or Monday, but um, I have seen a lot of stuff. I know a lot of people are really upset right now. Me too, because um, the person question, I watch his content a lot. Um, I didn't get a lot of laughs out of it, but I mean, it is what it is, what's going on. Um, so I want to try and make my channel a pretty wholesome place so everyone can kind of get enjoyment. Um, yeah. I know the channel's just beginning and not a lot of people will see us, but I do want to have a very positive direction for the channel. And you didn't go for Arthur, that is really... Or maybe you did and I was just ranting on a bit. But yeah, trying to make a decent channel here. I want everyone to kind of feel welcome, use whatever units we want to. Um, yeah, and Tana, can you not... I mean, I suppose we can just let you... Oh, is there a long bow? Okay. Yeah, that could have been really awful. Yeah, we're just gonna make this a wholesome channel. Of course, I'm not really the type who's really into, like, waifuing or husbando-ing. I just like playing because it's fun. And a lot of the characters are cool. Um, what should we have Joshua do? But yeah, I'll definitely be looking for some other channels to watch Fire Emblem content on, that's for sure. Um, but there are plenty of good channels out there. Let's get Arthur some staff experience. There are plenty of good channels out there, and a lot of good channels starting up, so hopefully the game's future will be um, pretty solid when it comes to content. I'm sure it's certainly um, hopeful for my own channel as well as some others, so there's always positive to come out of this. Let's just focus on what's ahead right now. I know the same is a lot with the Smash community right now. There's been um, a lot of issues in the past week or so. But hopefully once certain people are outed, we can um, clean up the community and everyone can be safer. Same thing in, in any video game community, really. We can just keep it fun and wholesome for everyone. Good job, Arter. Anyway, I thought I'd get that kind of express. I'm not really the best at explaining this sort of thing here. Um, kind of do keep to myself on that stuff, but I thought it might as well. Um, it's a good point that should be made. Oh, Jesus. Another low crit. But yeah, anyway, this is what I was going on about the Slayer skill that the bishops get. As you can see, his tome is flashing a bit there, um, meaning showing off that super effective, just like as a bow would against Tana. It shows that the light magic tomes are, well, light magic is super effective for boss, but showing that Archer has a skill that uh, basically is a free critical on the monster enemies. Okay, now then. Hmm. Healing? Yeah, I don't like you around when I have Tana.
Yeah, and once again, I'm going to try and keep the video um, maybe about 20-ish to 25 minutes. I don't like my videos getting too long. I think it becomes a little bit dry when the videos are a really long, really long amount of time on them. Tana, are you? You're fine. Hmm. Erica, keep moving. I don't want anything to hit Colm. Stance for Mulder. Get him a little bit closer. And having a dance for like Telly's is basically like having three healers in a way. Don't think anyone needs healing right now. Eh, just move him a little closer. Every bit helps. Yeah, this is one of those mid-game chapters that are filled with monsters. As I said, the end game, a lot of those chapters will be populated with monsters, so having Archer is definitely helpful. Um, hmm, I think I'm just gonna let Colm pick all those. Okay. Well, I appreciate a dodge there, but what can you do? What is this eyeball gonna do? Go for Seth. He can't counterattack, of course it is. So these are called moguls in this game. I believe in FE Gaiden or FE2, um, one of the not as popular games, Echoes Remake, or Echoes is a remake of that. That was the first game to start with moguls, and I believe they kind of, they didn't divide, but they kept coming back. I think in Cheering Saga they divide, but they just kind of like kept reproducing or kept spawning again, if I remember. I haven't played Echoes in quite a while, but that's where they came from. This game takes a lot of inspiration from Fire Emblem 2. Um, the branching classes, the monsters, the overworld map you can explore. A lot of parallels you can draw between this and Gaiden, or Echoes if you're more familiar with that, which I'm sure most people are. Can Erica... Well, if I dance for her, she can. Now, these guys are coming from back here, but I would like everyone to be further ahead. Um, down here we have a really nasty group of enemies, and we don't want them getting to Rachel, um, and we don't want Dazzle getting overwhelmed. There's also some enemies, as you can see, that dog moved um, out of vision here. Okay. That dog moved out of vision, so he's making his way around that staircase to get where we are. That's fine. See if we can get Erica a little bit closer. And this is just another example. Dancer helping us basically have about a lot more movement than we normally would. Yeah, we can go for that. Erica normally only having, I think she has five movement, now she can have ten. You know, and just as I, as I was explaining in the last chapter, um, a dancer can really be versatile in that sort of thing. The only way Erica's moving 10 spaces is Seth has to pick her up and drop her off and it can kind of get a little bit... Alright, who's coming down here? Can be a little bit annoying for him to have to do that all the time. Seth is needed in many places. Okay, I think all of these characters should be okay. Home, let's get you down here. Oh, hello there. I'm really scared for Archer. I just don't like the crit rates he's still facing. It's really annoying because I would like him to um, be able to enemy phase here. It would be really helpful if he did. Okay, thank you, Seth. Just leading the way for us here. You can't check these guys' weapons in the fog, unfortunately, but um, I think some of them might spawn with horse slayers, which isn't that good for Seth. And you missed that guy, but that's actually fine. Like I said, it is fine when um, your stronger characters like Seth do leave some kills open to Erica or Tana or Joshua and Archer, even though they're promoted. Okay, and you aren't even doing damage. You are pathetic. And getting one-shotted. 
But I mean, it is against Seth, so who can blame you? And you're not gonna go for Josh or anything. Yeah, the Maw Dogs, I think that's what they're called. Let me look at that. Sammies do have names on their mouths, and you two are just gonna stand around. Moth Dog, Gargoyle. Yeah, these guys are really fast. I think they're equivalent of, like, Myrmidons, maybe, I wanna say. America can easily pick you off. That's what they're equivalent of, so it's pretty uncommon for anyone to be able to double them. And let's see. I would like to get Arter down here. He's gonna be very helpful here. Although it might be better to just put Joshua on the front lines too. Joshua now also doesn't really care about your weapon triangle. Tawana, can you pick him off? Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. I mean, we could take a shot at him at least. Anything helps. And then I think I'm going to... Hmm, I would like to heal Seth. He doesn't have a healing item. To attack from here. Okay, you don't have crit rate against the gargoyles, which is really good. And then I need to get Mulder one square closer. And someone may have to stay back here to take on these guys. It might have to be Erica. Those zombies aren't too scary, as we've already seen them a few times there. Some of the weakest forms of monsters. Those in generic bone walkers I find not really threatening at all. And Colm, you need to grab this. We're running a little low on lockpicks, but for hopefully we will be getting our other thief character soon. So I'll send you down here. Yeah. In a few chapters we'll be getting our pre promoted rogue, and he should be able to pick the chest open for us. And oh boy, they've already opened the door. I think I've stepped on a reinforcement zone. I'm not really sure here. But Seth is here to clean house. Not really a problem. Joshua is close behind. Oh, I think I just broke that. Now wasting a javelin, not the best thing you can do, and you can't reach. Okay, good, we can still- You got in my way. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, Chana, can you please kill something? Hmm. Tethys, how close are you? Not very. I need to block off this point. Alright. This choke point gets really nasty, so let's have Arthur take you out right here. Okay, Joshua, I don't have any type of Lance Reaver on me. 56, 54... Eh, we can rig a crit. Okay, thank you, Joshua. Just didn't want him fighting a counterattack right there. We do have quite the enemy phase to go through. And then Seth, you can just take on him. I believe there's a pre-promoted gargoyle here. I think it's called a death goyle. Um, he can be- there he is. He's quite nasty. As for this side... Hmm. I think Erica needs to get to talking to La Rachel. It might actually be beneficial just to choke ourselves within this point. At this point, you usually have someone back here to fight these guys, like in these woods, but not really the opportunity we can do here. So if Tana keep moving. Just get these guys moving calm. We need your eyes. 
Don't know if there's anywhere where we can torch right now. And that was bad. I should have kept someone closer to get Teddy's in range. Okay. And you crit on the second one, just as expected. Thanks, Joshua. <laughs> they always do it. And we have another one, so it's not that big of a deal. Chess key. You're going for Seth? Although you probably have a better hit rate on Seth than Joshua, so I can see why you do that. And Seth actually cannot double you. I guess at this point Seth might be a less scary target to go for than Joshua. Although this guy probably disagrees right now. <laughs> okay, is there anything else I can hit Josh? Okay. Oh, thank you, Rachel! I don't remember her ever doing this. Thank you so much. Okay. And with that, we've been recording for about over 20 minutes. I'm going to stop it here, and I will see you in the next part when we finish the rest of this chapter. Have a good day!